In development debates, we take a look at the issues shaping the future and present of China. Today, we'll debate who is the more marketable celebrity in China, Jeremy Lin or Fan Bingbing. China has hundreds of millions of TV owners who have access to media sources like movies, TV shows, and sporting events. Chinese media outlets become responsible for shaping the modern-day cultural aspects of the country. The limited number of TV shows and movies gave the stars of the shows massive audiences. As certain actors become household names, companies saw opportunities in using them to endorse their products. It was very common for companies to use Jackie Chan to endorse their products, as he was one of the most recognizable figures worldwide with a Chinese following. This meant that his endorsements were not just limited to domestic Chinese companies. He also won endorsements from well-known global brands like Canon Cameras. A negative of his massive celebrity was the supposed Jackie Jinx. Many of his products had quality concerns and led people to criticize products associated with his name. This created demand for other recognizable Chinese celebrities to take over for the overexposed Jackie Chan. One path to riches for some celebrities, including sporting events like the Olympics. Gold medalists were highly sought after as the Olympics were seen as an event of national pride. Several celebrities began representing major international brands that wanted to break into the Chinese market. The go-to guy for an endorsement was Yao Ming, even though he wasn't a gold medalist. He was still an internationally recognized sports figure after a successful run on the NBA's Houston Rockets. His celebrity endorsement power still exists today despite having retired years ago. He recently represented Budweiser in a Chinese-language TV commercial campaign. As Yao Ming's presence faded, many companies were hoping for a new Chinese star to take his spot. They might have been surprised to find out the next big star would be an American with Chinese heritage. He became an instant hit after his, quote, Lin Sane performances in NBA games with the New York Knicks. He was later traded to the Houston Rockets, which helped cement his position as a marketing tool to Chinese audiences. The car company Volvo decided to use Jeremy Lin in one of their campaigns in April of 2012. China has an extremely fast-growing car market, so the intelligent and grounded image of Lin Shu Hao was perceived as a fitting way to improve their image in China. In a different approach towards company image, Jeremy Lin has also been appearing in commercials for KFC in China, which have included offering action figures in his image. However, the national NBA feature columnist Grant Hughes said that Jeremy Lin's image seems to be on the decline. He said that his, quote, star power and marketability are gently drifting back to earth. Hughes notes that Jeremy Lin was supposed to have a huge endorsement potential and that Yao Ming's association with the Rockets would have made it easy for Lin to bring in big endorsements. Oddly enough, it was his teammate Chandler Parsons who has received the most recent endorsement from a large Chinese company. So there is, or there at least was, definite appeal for Jeremy Lin in China. But most marketing companies and major brands seem to be looking elsewhere for their major endorsement campaigns. Forbes China creates a list of who they believe are the most influential celebrities in China. For the year 2013, that list was topped by neither Jackie Chan nor Jeremy Lin. In fact, Jeremy Lin wasn't even in the top 10. Jackie Chan was listed as number 4. Ahead of him were two male singers and movie stars, Jay Cho and Andy Lau. The top spot was taken by female movie star and fashion diva Fan Bing Bing. Fan Bing Bing is well known for appearing in Chinese dramas and romantic comedies, red carpet appearances worldwide, including the Cannes Film Festival, and for a brief stint in the Chinese cut of Iron Man 3. She's often used in campaigns for luxury goods and makeup products. She's represented multiple international names that pay huge endorsement fees. These include brand names like L'Oreal, Cartier, Louis Vuitton, and Nokia. Her star status is expected to rise as she'll appear in the upcoming X-Men film. Although it is clear that her endorsement potential is greater than that of Jeremy Lin's, not because of recognition, but because of her ability to target markets that he can't. Luxury brands and makeup companies have an obvious preference for her over Jeremy Lin. So until another movie star takes her place, Jeremy Lin will undoubtedly be the less favored choice for brands looking to advertise in China.